we are really excited to be part of this um, 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 project. And we are hoping that it will bring some sort of sensitization to the whole of the country, actually, because um, we have heard that, in actual fact, uh, there is a shortage of, of corneas uh, uh, in the country, and uh, therefore the good work that's been done by this hospital is actually um, been affected because of that shortage. So we would love to get involved in the long term and uh, help in some sort of campaign to the whole country uh, to ask Kenyans out there, uh, speak to your loved ones, speak to, 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 to everybody um, and come and talk to uh, the good people here and find out about uh, donating a cornea, how it's done and what it's all about. Uh, let's help save um, a child like Omondi, who is in his young uh, formative years, about to sit his primary exam. He's got his life ahead of him, but um, an issue like uh, eyesight is holding him back. And uh, we hope that uh, this will uh, reach out to everybody in the country so that there will be a change and uh, we can see a difference for, for everybody. And one small step, but uh, we're hoping that it will make a very big difference. You mentioned that there is a shortage of uh, corneas in this country, which is very right. We have to actually import corneas from America, and these are not coming cheap. We have to pay $1,300 mm -hmm. for every cornea that comes into our country. You can imagine the cost that would end up being translated to the ordinary one inchi, and with the escalating cost of the dollar, it becomes totally prohibitive for the poor and the needy, especially uh, Mr. Omondi, mm. who is a struggling student and quite a bright one. He is apparently suffering from bilateral keratoconus, which can be corrected by the cornea of a person who has passed on. Corneas are only removed upon the passing of a donor. And donors is what Kenya lacks. Simply because tradition among the local population says that a person should be buried intact and not, uh, nor part of his body should be donated talk of kidneys, talk of heart, talk of liver. These are organs that can be easily donated and save a life. But Kenya has not yet moved into the medical expertise of such organs, kidney donation, heart donation, and uh, you know, liver donations. I hope with this kind of coverage that we are receiving, we will be able to create the awareness among each and every Kenyan that when they get buried or when they get cremated, the eyes or the organs become ashes mm. and if it can help save someone's sight somebody should try and look at being able to think that they will live on even after their passing through their through the eyes that they have donated to somebody and if they can help somebody a kenyan get eyes and be able to progress, I think that would be one of the best gifts that they would ever be able to give to those people. Our waiting list is very long. People have paid deposits to our hospital for as long as a year. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, it's good. And it's very difficult uh, for us to import those corneas because of the prohibitive costs. And as soon as we get these corneas, we have to call the next available person that, look, uh, come along, we have got. Some people have even given up uh, waiting for those corneas. And when we give them that call that we now have a cornea for you, you can imagine the exhilaration that person has. The cornea graft takes, immediately it is grafted, it takes around a month for the person to be able to see clearly. But once the follow-up visits and the medication, the follow-up medication is correctly done, 
that person's eyesight can be, you know, restored within, uh, you know, that cornea can start taking effect within one month. Why can't uh, we have such a drive, corneas for Kenyans? And maybe a day will come when uh, reversible blindness will be a thing of the past. And speaking of the Miller Foundation, we are actually exhilarated at your uh, generosity in helping out Omondi. You can imagine there are so many Kenyans who are still unable to afford the costs involved in uh, a corneal graft. Mm -hmm. And it is only with donors like you, philanthropic people like you, mm -hmm. that we, the lions, get our encouragement mm -hmm. so that we can continue with the good fight mm -hmm. of combating reversible blindness. We would love to donate this uh, check and uh, donation on behalf of uh, Reynard Omondi and uh, we wish him all the best and we hope that this will be the start of a good relationship with Lion Side Fast to create awareness for Cornell Absolutely. I am actually looking forward to Miller Foundation becoming uh, a partner with the Lion's Eye Hospital and we most humbly thank you for uh, considering Mr. Reynard Omondi, and uh, definitely he will get the best treatment. That is the assurance of the Lions Cyclostar Hospital. And I actually uh, wish, wish to acknowledge the Capital FM, which has covered this event, and for creating the awareness that is very much required uh, among us Kenyans, and for the interest that they have taken in ensuring that Mr. Omondi gets the treatment that he should be getting so that he can progress in this world. And I am sure that once Eric becomes somebody, he will realize that it was Capital FM that brought out his plight to Miller Foundation and to the Lion Sight Eye Hospital. Thank you very, very much.